Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a shape mask to use in color correction. This gives me a chance to show one more thing about color correction that you may not be aware of. This is me at BVE in London last year, and I forgot to bring a light. Brought the camera, did not bring a light. So what I want to do is I don't want to change the lighting of the whole scene. That looks pretty good, but I need to be able to see my face. So I'm going to put a mask in. We go to masks where it says color correction. See this icon right here? When you click it, we can add a shape mask or a color mask. A color mask allows us to, say, select the color of a balloon, like a yellow balloon, and change it to orange. A shape mask gives me a chance to add a shape here. It can be a circle, or if I grab this dot, it becomes a square or rounded rectangle. I'm going to move the circle over to my face, drag this in. This allows me to rotate the circle. Put it over my face right about there. There we go. This outer ring determines feathering. I want to feather a little, but not a lot. There we go. So now, when I make an adjustment, I'm going to be adjusting the that which is either inside or outside the mask. So when this, this mask shape is blue, the lines are visible. Click it to make the lines appear or disappear make them disappear. And now we click the color board. If I click inside, whatever adjustments I make occur inside the mask. If I click outside, whatever adjustments I make occur outside the mask. I'm going to work with inside. Pull my white levels down, pull my mids up. Right around in there I have a face. I have no color in my face, so I'm going to boost the saturation. I've got to get more sun. That's all there is to it. But look at where we, we ended up. In just a couple seconds, I set a mask. That was before. This is afterward. Now I'm getting some spikes coming in, so I'll add the broadcast safe filter. And now I've clamped the broadcast safe, and it's not part of the color corrector filter, so therefore it affects the entire image. The broadcast safe must always go at the bottom. Color correction on top, broadcast safe at the bottom. We can have as many shape masks as we want per color corrector, but we can only have one color mask. We can have as many color corrections as we want, and again, highlight them and hit the delete key to delete the mask. This is really, really cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at color correction inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 196. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Our training covers a wide variety of software and technologies. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. Thanks.